Okay. She gonna go in your hat? <laughs> she says, giddy up, cowboy. So it's been a little bit of a sad week. Um, I had to say goodbye to my little my little farm buddy, um, Penelope. She started showing signs that something was wrong with her about two months ago. We noticed Penelope exhibiting symptoms of Rhinec a couple days ago. At first we didn't know what she was doing and um, after a little bit of research we figured out it's something called Rhinec. And it's been getting worse the last couple days and it makes it difficult for her to drink water because when she puts her head back she loses control of her neck and her head gets stuck backwards. We also noticed that one of her eyes has gotten smaller, like it is getting shrunken back into her head. It looks a lot different than the other healthy eye. So when we noticed that Penelope was having the wry neck, which is most likely caused from a vitamin deficiency, we went and picked up some poultry Nutridrench. Now what this is, is it's um, just a very um, potent mix of a couple essential vitamins that includes um, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin D3, and vitamin E. And we've been giving it to her once a day, and the dosage is one milliliter per three pounds of body weight. So we've been giving her about one milliliter a day. So far, she hasn't shown any signs of improving yet, but with something like this, it might take a while. She's not getting any worse, and she's eating on her own if we put food in front of her, so we're just gonna keep doing this until we see her start to come out of this and act more like herself. We decided to bring Penelope inside and put her in a large box to keep her safe and so that we could take better care of her. The kids enjoyed having Penelope in the house and loved to feed her little treats. What's Penelope eating, Timmy? She's eating food. She's eating food? <laughs> yes. To be more specific, she's eating scrambled eggs mixed with refried beans and some kale. What does she think of her breakfast? It's good. She thinks it's good. Yeah, she seems pretty hungry. So because her wry neck throws her neck back every time she tries to swallow water, usually chickens will dip their beaks into the water and then throw their head back to swallow it. And every time she does that to swallow the water, it makes her head get stuck back there. So. We've been having to hydrate her. I'm just using this little um, like medicine syringe that I bought at Walmart. And in the mornings, I mix her vitamins in with it. So she's able to eat on her own, but we wanna make sure she doesn't get any more dehydrated. We noticed that one of her eyes has sunken in a little bit. And after doing some research, I'm pretty sure that's from being dehydrated from her not being able to drink all that she should be drinking. So we're hoping that this hydrates her causes her eye to get back to normal, as well as the vitamins providing those vitamins that she's been deficient on that is causing this whole problem. This so It did, it shrunk in a little bit. It's this not one's as, not. No, that one's normal. And then the other one, careful, careful. The other one is smaller. So if we give her this water, then maybe that will fix that, right? It's really not easy to put water in a chicken beak.
So I just came over here to check on Penelope. And I could hardly believe my eyes. Do you see that? Penelope laid an egg. I see this as, I don't know, a thank you for taking good care of her or a sign of hope that maybe she's gonna get better soon. I don't know, I am just absolutely shocked that she's been in this box for two weeks. Oh, look, she's eating. And she's been suffering from this condition, yet she lays us an egg. She is seriously the best chicken ever. And I hope that this is just a little sign that she's starting to get better. Because that's quite an ordeal to lay an egg. Good job, Penelope. Thanks for the egg. So I'm here with my Penelope. I have been giving her the poultry, the poultry Nutri-Drench. She hasn't improved really at all as far as her neck goes. Um, she has been laying eggs this week, but I reached out to a awesome Facebook group that has a lot of support for people who have chickens, and um, people got back to me within two minutes with some other suggestions of things that I can do to help her. One person suggested selenium and vitamin E gel, and I actually already had this, so they said to give a pea-sized amount to her every day, and they also suggested that I add some different sort of vitamins to their watch or water. So I ordered those on Amazon. They should be here in a couple days. But for now, I'm going to do what they suggested. And I'm going to mix a pea-sized little amount of this, of this gel into the water that I'm going to give her with the little syringe. So this has selenium in it, whereas this does not. So maybe that will help her recover faster. We'll see. But... I'm really hoping that she makes it out of this. We've been working on this for uh, three weeks now. So I'm hoping that we start to see some improvement here and maybe these different vitamins will do the trick. So I just kind of <laughs> have it floating. You can see I have kind of the gel particles floating in there. This is just easier for me to give this to her in this little dispenser. Pumpkin pen. It's been over eight weeks and Penelope's not gotten any better. I've researched every disease. I've exhausted the internet trying to figure out what could be wrong with her. But I'm pretty sure that it's not the vitamin deficiency like I was hoping. I don't think there's anything I can do for her. And as much as our family loves Penelope, we know that it's not right to just let her keep going like this. We did everything we could think of, hoping it was just a vitamin deficiency, but um, it became pretty clear when she didn't get better that she was having some sort of other neurological problem. And she was just living her life in a box in our living room, and it was really sad. Um, so we had to make the tough decision to put her down. It was a sad moment for our family. We were really excited to have her here. and. We just had her for such a brief time, but um, kids understood. And uh, we are looking forward to getting a lot more chickens. We actually just bought an incubator and look forward to hatching lots of chickens and getting into some other breeds of birds as well. Of course, none of them are gonna be like Penelope. She was very special. And it's kind of funny to think about we literally did like eat her brothers and sisters. Um, she was just gonna be a meat chicken, but she just was such a special chicken because of her little personality. So you just never know when you're gonna get those little special ones that come, come along. And um, hopefully we'll have some other chickens that, that are our favorites here as we continue to grow our homestead. So we'll miss that little chicken. She was a uh, sure great little girl and um, 
just the, sometimes just the way it goes when you're doing the farm life. Thank you for spending this time with us. Stay tuned as our farm continues to grow and develop and as we seek to live a healthy and wholesome lifestyle here on Honey Acres Homestead. <laughs>